Hey, my friends, how are you today? I hope everything's going well. I know this is a little early, but I thought I would be able to squeeze this in before the kids wake up. <laughs> so I just wanted to come on here and have a little conversation with you. I know I haven't gone live on Instagram or Facebook for a while, especially like my personal page to talk about my business and what I do. And it's been a long time <laughs> since I've, I've done that. And I thought, why not? It's Monday. Let's rip the bandaid off. <laughs> let's go live and let's talk. And there's a, a, a big reason why I wanted to do this. So if you don't know, I have several faucets to the work that I do. And one of the major ones is working with women, mostly mamas, but women who are caregivers and don't necessarily put themselves first. I help them get in realignment with their self-care, their self-worth, and from a natural perspective. So with essential oils, with mindset, with meditation, to really embody who they are. And I do that with a company called doTERRA. It's an essential oil company that I've aligned myself with over six and a half years ago. And I'm not that same person that I was six and a half years ago. We change energetically about every three, 30 days to 90 days. So whether it's something new that's going on our in our lives, a new health concern, a new mindset, a new job, a new relationship. So many things change, um, and sometimes in a short period of time. So if I think back to that six and a half years ago, it's totally, you know, there's, I was still me, but a different version of me. It was pre kiddos. Um, so that definitely shifted a lot of my energy as well. And now is the perfect time to kind of relaunch my business and, and what I'm doing with this new energy, with this new perspective, with a new, the new me. Um, so that's why I wanted to share with you. And, and one of the major reasons why I align myself with my company is for connection. And I don't know about you, but the last two years have been pretty hard to connect and even on social media, because there's so much, so many pulls in different directions and, and having that physical connection with somebody, um, even just a hug. I am a hugger <laughs> and, and that's been interesting to shift to not being really socially acceptable. And, and now, you know, we've just kind of re-embraced who we are and having that connection and so connection is big for me. And another thing, another reason why is taking taking a new perspective to how we care for ourselves and instilling that in my kids while they're young. So this is something that they they go to first. I remember when I was little, that was not how how we were raised. You know, our first shift our first thought was to go to the medicine cabinet and to take something for whatever was going on to mask the symptom that was happening. And, you know, I'll talk more about my thoughts on the, the medical system in just a minute. But um, what I really want to do is to show my children and to show the, the women that I work with that health isn't just something that is you work on your health at the gym. It's a daily, daily thing that you do. Um, and you have your routines that add up and kind of stack on top of each other to help bring you to that full version of wellness that you're looking for. And it's not a simple pop a pill and you're better. It's, it's your daily habits, your daily actions, your daily steps to become a 
a more well person. And I love that now my kids, if they've got something going on, they'll come to me and say, mommy, my belly hurts, rub an oil on it. Instead of mommy, my belly hurts, where's the medicine? <laughs> so we, we've we got a, bit, a major shift that has happened. And it's something that my kids will always know and they'll take with them. And it's reframing wellness in our family for that next generation. So that is something that makes me really excited about my business and what I do is is the impact it has in my own home because my kids get to see me, by example, using the products, my morning routines, the supplements I use to support my body, the way that we cook, the way that we eat. Um, so that's that's become really a shift from going and looking for support outside of yourself for your daily wellness and really empower empowering yourself instead to make those habits and choices and and actions that you are in control of so i love that and i mean i i started this business for many other reasons um one thing i'd love to travel that's been a really big void for us the last two years not being able to just you know, get on a plane and go somewhere, anywhere we want in the entire world. Um, but travel was a major, It's and it's still a major love of mine. Even with three kids, I'm about to take a flight with three kiddos um, solo. So I've been mentally preparing myself for that. But I, I love the travel. I love to continue to grow and develop. And I don't know if you know this about me, but whenever I went to undergrad, I actually graduated in four years with three majors and a minor and I have two master's degrees and I I love continuing to to educate myself and to learn and and I'm always taking courses online on my interests and hobbies and whether it's business related whether it's personal development related that's something that I found within network marketing that is is it celebrated continuing to grow and to thrive and to become that better version of you and whether it's little habits that you're shifting or bigger picture things in your life that you want to change i think that's important to surround yourself with a community of people that have that same vision to continue to develop themselves instead of to stay at status quo and and where they have always been their whole life and get yourself outside of your own comfort zone. And another thing is just time. Time with kids while they're young is so precious. And this business is a thing that I don't have to show up to at nine to five. I don't have to be anywhere at a certain time um, unless I schedule it. So that's become really important to me. So we've got um, we dove into homeschooling this year. I've been able to really embrace that time with the kids to help them navigate what's going on in the current world. And but in a way that's that's meant for them <laughs> right now. You know, they're one, three, and five, so they're not meant to know or to be dealing with the stress around everything that's happening in the world at this point and not that we're hiding anything from them but we're letting them and choose to embrace childhood instead of having to grow up quickly and and to not be able to feel good with with their learning in their school because they're worried about keeping something on their face <laughs> so so it's been really nice to be able to to have the time to be able to do that and to work our schedule around that and so why oils though so i have i have a love of many different things and some of you know me from my work in the gluten-free space some of you know me through my yoga classes and mindset and meditation work and some of you know me through my marketing work so i do have my undergrad was in advertising and one of my masters is an mba so and it, with a best uh, a focus on marketing so marketing is a huge passion of mine i love advertising and online marketing and digital um aspects of of an online business so there's a, a few different areas that you might have connected with me from and 
I, I love that I get to incorporate all of those into, into this business. And one thing that I love and why I chose essential oils specifically or a company that is essential oil based is it is such a growing need. People are changing. They're shifting. There's, I don't know if you've noticed the energy around you, but there's a call for something different. And what's nice is essential oils have become a go-to. They're not this like woo-woo weird thing that the witch doctor does or did in the past. It's, it's become almost like you go into, you go into any store and you'll see essential oils on the shelf and quality is, is very different. So when it comes to oils, you need to make sure that you're using the most pure essential oils so that you know what's going in your body and on your body and the aromas that you're using. And the last thing you want to do is think that you're switching to something that's natural and instead bringing other toxins or other things into your home or your environment. So quality is really, really important. And I could go off on a whole nother, nother um, side on quality, and I probably will soon. Um, but the way that oils have changed my life is, is every day there's these little miracles that I see happening from a bottle, a little bottle. Um, I remember when I was, I was living in New York and it was right as I was you know, getting diagnosed with my autoimmune condition and I didn't know how my body would handle even foods. Like my, my stomach was so unruly. One day I could eat something and be totally fine. The next day I eat it and I'm curled over in pain. And what's wonderful about these oils is I was able to you know, I'm able to use them, put a drop under my tongue or on my stomach and, and relieve that feeling within a few minutes. And that's something that really makes me fall in love with these oils every single day. Whenever I've got some kind of head tension going on or the kids fall and they get a boo-boo, like our first thought is to find our essential oil for that. And there's, there definitely is a time and a place for modern medicine, um, and and we have been so thankful to have modern medicine whenever we need it. But there's things about that that we don't really love either. You know how much is spent globally on healthcare, and when you look around and you see yourself, maybe your family, your friends, your neighbors, are we really that healthy as as a a country as a, a world there's there's so much work to do around health even with the amount of money that gets spent on on health care and of course there's the side effects of, of modern medicine that sometimes it just masks the symptoms of what's really going on and essential oils can get down to the root cause of why things are happening in your body the way that they are and address that so that the symptoms start going away. Um, and that's, that's why I chose oils and that's why I'm so passionate about talking and educating about them. And I actually grew up really kind of skeptical about network marketing as an industry. I did have a wonderful example though. My mom, she's been in direct sales for Oh gosh, for for a long, long time, and I got to see her go from you know stay-at-home mom with us, always, always supporting us and guiding and being our biggest cheerleaders. I got to see her step outside of her comfort zone in a direct sales company and win incentive trips and bring in extra income so that we could do additional things that that we weren't necessarily able to do as a one income family. So I did get to see that pretty early on and whenever I was in college, I whenever I would come home, I I'd, I'd have, you know, a few parties with within her company so that I could either pay for some of my school or my books or or something else whenever I was headed back to to school. So it's something that's kind of all, always been there, but I never thought 
I would embrace network marketing as much as I have. I always thought I would be this corporate career girl that would climb the ladder, especially with you know my education and degrees and ex pre previous experiences. But whenever I became a mom, that totally shifted and I was planning to go back to work and I I couldn't. <laughs> it broke my heart even thinking about it. I, I remember as the week started, <laughs> And dwindling down and I was supposed to go back to work my heart was just aching and it, plus it didn't help that when Coralie my my oldest when she was a baby refused a bottle I remember trying probably 20 different brands of of baby bottles to try to get her to to take a bottle and it was still you know breast milk that I was putting in it but she just wanted no part of that <laughs> whatsoever so it was I just couldn't gather gather myself to leave and go into New York City and be you know a minimum of at least two hours away commuting to get home to her, not knowing if she would take a bottle or eat that day before she was eating solid food so you know i I decided it was time to to leave the corporate world and and you know do something on my own and that's that's why I've been able to embrace network marketing because I could do that with the little ones and and still have the time and the space and the energy for them <laughs> so uh, real quick I know like I've gone on way longer than I thought I would but I wanted to share a couple kind of stories and experiences that continue to light me up whenever it comes to the oils and what they've done for my family and other people too like I remember let's see there's there's been so many different stories like literally hundreds of different experiences that I've got to be a part of of just seeing people experience the essential oils and have a, a sh or the supplements too and and have a shift in in their health and their wellness sometimes as quickly as a few minutes and sometimes even quicker than that but I remember um, I have a friend uh, Diana and she was like Jenna I am in my whole whole side of my neck my back everything is achy and I can't sleep I'm uncomfortable I'm cranky because of that pain I don't know about you guys but if I am in pain I am so irritable and she she told me that she was falling in line with that and we worked together we found some solutions for her and I remember how much excitement she came back to me with within a few days she was not experiencing that those feelings anymore she was feeling well she was feeling whole and and that made a big difference for her and I have, I have another friend, Stephanie. I remember she came to me and started using the essential oils for herself. And then she started incorporating them with, for her little one. And her little one was dealing with you know, feeling colicky and feeling um, like just dealing with the gas pains. And I remember she came to me and was like, oh my gosh, I've been up every night like with her and and just dealing with this and she was able to then try her essential oils and give her daughter that relief that she needed with, with feeling colicky and, and not getting the sleep so that was a, a major shift i i remember there was um i used to travel a lot and speak at expos and events of you know thousands of people and i remember there was somebody there kathy she came to our table and didn't say anything really about what was going on, how she was feeling. And I had given her a drop of our, our peppermint oil and she put it on her stomach and I kind of explained the different ways she could use it aromatically, topically, and internally um, because our oils, you can use them internally. And so she tried them <clears throat> in all three different ways and she kind of left the table and came back and she was like I don't you you didn't know this because I didn't tell you but when I came over here I was on the verge of feeling like I was gonna throw up I was so nauseous and not feeling right something didn't sit with my stomach because at these events you try all sorts of different gluten-free foods and and she just something didn't sit right with her stomach and she, when she came back she was like I felt 
almost instant relief and that feeling of nauseousness just dissipated and and she she totally shifted then what she was capable of she was working at the time but struggling because she was always going off to the bathroom and and having to deal with um those gas gastrological issues and so now she had the tools to be able to help her not have to do that anymore and now I have so many dozens of dozens of stories of these like little miracles that have been happening in people's lives and you know, I had a friend of mine that was dealing with <clears throat> depression and anxiety and and not really in control of her thoughts and and she came to me and we looked at different products she could try and and we have a supplement that specifically helps with mental wellness now and so we got her to try that and and she she gets to feel alive again she got to embrace her herself and not have to take something that really just made her feel like a zombie and instead she's able to use natural products to uplift her mood and her mindset and her mental wellness so you know all of these continue to build my passion in in these products and that's why that's why I do what I do so you know if you're somebody that's been kind of watching in maybe even in the background over the last you know six and a half years and you're still curious and you're thinking you know maybe there's something different maybe there's an alternative out there then let's talk I think it's it's really important to embrace the possibilities of of what could work and how your life could look different by just these simple little actions so if you're interested definitely send me a message we'll talk more and I'm just excited about this new energy in my business and excited to share that with you guys so that being said I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon